Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a book review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at the magic of Jonathan Friedman, the musical from Vanishing Incorporated. All right, what is this? Well, it's a book, right? It's a book and it has uh, 24 fully fleshed out close-up routines and you're gonna find all kinds of effects. Jonathan doesn't really land on any one style of magic. So it's not like all card magic or all coin magic. You're gonna get a, a mix of uh, coins and cards. Uh, you're gonna get guitar pick tricks because it actually includes a guitar pick. Uh, there's billets in this. There's uh, plastic bags, dollar bills. I mean, you name it. Jonathan's got it. It's so much fun to read. Uh, it's 218 pages, 315 full color photographs, and uh, Vanishing Incorporated always gives you these beautiful hardback books. They're bound great, they look great, and every single copy, like I said, comes with a custom guitar pick. And obviously we're gonna understand that every single one of these tricks is completely different. There's no way you can cover like set up and reset and inspectability for every single trick. I mean, it's 24 tricks, 24 tricks. Uh, right now, this is about $40, $40 book. And uh, it's totally worth your money. I think if you're a big fan of creative tricks, thinking outside the box, you're gonna love this book. Cause what Jonathan has done is he's combined his love for music into the pattern of all of these effects. So you're gonna see tricks about Elvis, about the Beatles, about the Bee Gees. I mean, it, it just goes up and down. And of course, you don't, you're not locked into using his pattern, but uh, the pattern certainly is uh, helpful to frame these effects. And so I think if you're a fan of rock and roll or a fan of music, uh, or at least trying to make your magic kind of relevant in a, a music world, this is a great, great book. All right, so what are the things that are taught on here? There's a couple tricks on here with the guitar picks. There's one called Edge, where you actually balance three different guitar picks on edge, on top of each other, which is an impossible feat of skill. There's another trick in there, which is kind of like a, a, a three fly effect that you do with a uh, guitar pick, so that's pretty cool. There's another trick on here called the freshest coin transpo in the world, where a coin jumps in and out of like a sealed Ziploc bag. Air Guitar Serenade is where you have a guitar pick and it transforms into a card that's been folded like origami shape into a guitar pick. And when you unfold it, it's the spectator's card. Material Girl is a card trick about Madonna, kind of, and uh, it utilizes all the hearts and diamonds in the deck. Card a pick is uh, where the spectator's card like your guess is written on a guitar pick. So like you'd write nine of hearts on the guitar pick and then you show them that's their card as the reveal, but it's wrong. And then you rub the Sharpie prediction and the written prediction changes into their chosen card. There's another trick on here called So Punk Rock where the spectator draws a picture on the back of a playing card. You make it vanish off the playing card and then it appears written on the tuck case underneath the cellophane. There's a four phase coin through hand routine. There's a chewing gum routine. There's a two truths and a lie routine that involves flash paper. And there's even an ambitious card routine where the kicker is the spectator selection gets sucked through a straw. And really if I was gonna put the writing style and these tricks into kind of like a category, I would say, you know what? They're just as creative as like Jay Sankey effects. Like I almost felt like I was reading a Jay Sankey book where the tricks just kind of felt like in that kind of fun, creative, happy, like upbeat way. But at the same time, it also felt like kind of like Art of Astonishment, kind of felt like a Paul Harris book also because his tricks uh, were just so outside the box and you read them and you're almost questioning like, is this gonna work in the real world? Like, you, you know how you do that with Paul Harris? But they do, and so, and then, you know, Paul Harris kind of comes up with his own moves and his own kind of slights, and I would say Jonathan Friedman does that as well. So if I think you're a big fan of Jay Sankey, big fan of Paul Harris, just think of those two guys coming together and writing a book, that's what you're getting. As far as the practice and the skill level goes, uh, Jonathan says that all of these just are basic slights, and I would agree. Um, like I said earlier, there's some things that Jonathan does invent, but he's gonna walk you through everything. 
In fact, even slides you should already know, Jonathan does walk you through them. He doesn't just say, do a blah -de blah and then just move on. Um, all the routines are easily four or five or six pages long. So he does give a ton of time to every single trick and a lot of pictures. Positives, all right, so one of the good things I can say about this book. Hey, long live rock and roll. Friedman's latest book is a tribute to magicians who love creativity, drum solos, and setting things on fire. Each trick will keep you turning pages from beginning to end. Is it worth your money? Like I said earlier, it's 40 bucks. 40 bucks for a hardbound book with full color pictures and 24 tricks easily worth your money. Who would like this? I think fans of Jonathan Friedman, if you got his previous book, The 80s Called, uh, it's gonna be in that same vein. Uh, definitely, like I said earlier, if you like people who are like Jay Sankey or Paul Harris, I think you'll love this too. If you love rock and roll, and who doesn't, I think you'll get a great big kick out of this book. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about the magic of Jonathan Friedman. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this book so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, I'll see you guys next time, bye.